Hey there, and welcome to Zion Kids. I'm Gwen Shamlin with the Way Down Workshop and Remnant Fellowship Churches. Zion Kids is a series of videos that will transform the whole household, for it's full of God's music and knowledge of God and worship to I've never Him. Seen this before. Somebody just open the door. This could be what I've been waiting for. Now many people are still searching for the reason for living and the purpose in life. Somebody well, we know now the by the grace of God that so the reason for living is to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is what will bring true peace, joy, and happiness to your life. This is accomplished by learning about God through getting into His Word and then practicing or living out His wishes or commands. We have found that God's commands are wonderful and they're not hard for they're centered on loving Him and we get to praise Him not just one day a week but we get to praise Him every day. We get to get out of ourselves and own to the focus and praise of Him and learning to help others. This is simple but profound. Look at those Children will learn essential morals in Zion Kid videos, such as learning to obey parents or being kind to one another. They will learn basic preschool essentials, such as numbers and colors in the alphabet, etc. But it's also for children and teens and parents of all ages. For all of us to learn by imitating other children and other people, and Zion Kids is full of children and adults that are godly. Notice as you turn off the TV and turn on Zion Kids, how the whole household will feel different and happier. And watch how God will transform and teach the family of every age group. I use these principles in raising my own children and grandchildren. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, God has established remnant churches to restore what he started through Abraham and then firmly established through Jesus Christ. We are so excited about what God is doing here. These videos were just a joy and easy to produce simply because they were just an extension of our everyday lives in God's kingdom. And that's a place that he also calls Zion. Come along and let's get started on our adventures with these precious children, these precious Zion kids, for the sake of God and His kingdom.
us to be born again. God wants us to start over. Gracie, look way up. It's red buds and Bradford pears and cardinals and robins and everything's turning green. I love God. I love his spring. Welcome to Zion Kids. It's spring. Praise God and praise Hosanna. This is God's world and we are God's children. The spring is the time when everything is new. God makes new leaves and flowers, new trees. Look at all the flowers. They all smell so good. God really loves spring. And so all the baby birds are born and all the baby rabbits and the baby puppies and the kitty cats. New life. And God really must love to start over with new hearts that love him. God wants us to love spring. Do you love God? Yeah! yeah. Oh 
Everyone knows that God is above. Send us a son to show us his love. And he is anointed by Spirit Dove. about how God made his world and what he wants for his world and his church. We have to be attentive and listen with our ears, look with our eyes, and be still so that we can hear and see and concentrate with our minds and learn with our hearts. And we're gonna learn how to listen to our parents, listen to the Bible teachers, and listen to God. So come with us now as we go and see and learn about God's spring. Hey guys, we're out here in nature again. I'm watching this little inchworm. Isn't he cute? He's inching along. He's lime green and blue, dressed to match me. Um, you know, I've been outside all my life, looking at nature and watching it for the reason to find out about God. That's the purpose behind it. And uh, what I've seen myself is that from these roly polies to the birds, the wasps we've been looking at, to um, uh, that are that are obeying the will of God, they're they're doing the will of God. Um, you know, we've we've watched um, you know fish in the the sea, birds in the air. Uh, all, all the squirrels, uh, things like that. God has given them directions for what they need to do, when they need to go to bed, when they need to eat, and what they eat. All of them have got the rules that God's given them. He's taught them all. And what's beautiful is that these animals obey the will of God, and they don't have any problem with that. They love staying inside the box, the box, the boundaries that God has put them in. God made the sand a boundary. God made you a box. You're supposed to obey your parents. That's the box. It's the laws of God. And we have got to stay inside those boundaries, guys. And there's no fun outside of it. And even the waves obey His will. to sing praises to Him. 
Does everybody want to go praise God? Yeah! Let's go! God is everything! Every single day and every night, glorify the Lord with the light. Yeah, Joe Pepper sent to the fight, glorify the Lord with the light. Because he made the days, I'll give him all the praise. Every day and every night, glorify the Lord with the light. Yeah, children be obedient, for the shall please the Lord. Yeah, all of God's children obedient, for the shall please the Lord. Because he made the sky, for him I'll gladly die. Every day and every night, glorify the Lord your life. Come on. day and every night, glorify the Lord with the light. Yeah, John bed first into the fight, glorify the Lord with the light. Because He made the days, I'll give Him all the praise. Every day and every night, glorify the Lord with the light. Well, every single day and every night, glorify the Lord with the light. Today we're going to talk about Abraham, and Abraham was a man that God started over with. He started his church with, and he pulled him out of the world to love him with all of his heart. And he tested Abraham. Abraham lived a long time. And Abraham wanted children. And he did not have any children. And God let him wait and wait and wait and wait until he was a hundred years old. He had white hair. He was very old. And then when he became a hundred years old, God had seen that his heart was ready. And so he had tested Abraham and he gave then to Abraham. He rewarded him with a baby and his name was Isaac. And then when Isaac was 14 years old, God wanted to test Abraham again. And he had tested him with seeing if Abraham was willing to give him up to God. Guess what? Abraham loved God more than anything else on the earth. And that's why God used Abraham and used him to start his church. God loves a group of people to, to gather. And he said to Abraham, he goes, Abraham, look at the stars. There's gonna be as many people that are like you as there are sands of the earth. And that's what God is looking for, are people that are like Abraham and that are like Sarah, and they are pure. Do y'all know what the word pure means? That's a hard word, you do? Pure means loving God only, loving just God first. Do you all love God? Yeah. When you love God first and love Him more, love Him more than the potato chips, love Him more than this earth, love Him more than anything, then you are like Abraham and you are pure. I'm a holy Zion girl, I'm a holy Zion girl, called out from all the world for purity, purity. I'm a holy Zion man, I'm a holy Zion man, called out to take the land for purity, purity. And together we will be purity, purity. And 
He is for piano and praise. We love to praise God. U is for umbrella and up. Always look up to God. R is for rainbows. And R is for rock to the rhythm. And R is for God, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Y is for yellow, and Yahweh, yes to God. about someone else who started over. Jesus Christ. Did you know that God used Jesus Christ, his only son, to start the church over again? Because the church had gone astray, had moved away from putting God first. And so God used Jesus Christ to start over and he started the church over and got everyone to love God with all of their heart and all of their mind and all of their soul and all of their strength. Loving God with all, everything you got. That's why God used Jesus, because Jesus loved God with everything he had. Yeah. All of my passion, there's not a thing I won't do. You have laid your heart bare on the line, and I will give it back to you. Give me a sign, show me you care, just drop me a line I will be there, I will be yours and you will be mine I give you my love, I give you my time and all of my strength All of my hope, all of my mind, it goes to you And all of my strength, all of my hope, all of my mind, it goes to you It goes to you Gold and the silver you take them. All of my treasures, all of my friends for you, I'll forsake them. And one day you'll see just how much you mean. Straight from the heart, the song that I sing, and I will be yours, you will be mine. I give you my love, I give you my time, and all of my strength, all of my hope, all of my mind, it goes to you. And all of my strength, all of my hope. All of my mind, it goes to you, it goes to you, 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 you. Diamonds and rubies, gold and the silver, you take them. All of 
my treasures, all of my friends for you, I'll forsake them. And one day you'll see just how much you mean, straight from the heart, the song that I sing, and I will be yours, you will be mine, I give you my love, I give you my time, and all of my strength, all of my hope, all of my mind, it goes to you, and all of my strength, all of my hope, all of my mind. To love Him with all of your heart. Where's your heart? Right here? All of your heart and all of your mind and all of your strength. Yes. And with all of your soul. Do y'all love God? Yeah. yeah. Zion, Zion, cut like a knife, and Zion, Zion, make it okay. Zion is my morning star, and Zion is my end of day, and I've, I've been, been waiting all of my life, but I just got to say, I've been waiting all of my life, Zion. Praise God. I love the spring and everybody, it's all about.